Recently, mental health has been at the forefront of some of the issues that we need to tackle as a community. A lot of people like to use their garden and grow their own vegetables and get some sort of joy out of it. So Corbana arranged a several sessions throughout the summer to try and help with gardening. We wanted to concentrate on the elderly and those who were not very physically fit due to illness. We helped them with growing their own vegetables equipment and then provided a space for social interaction. We have some produce that people have donated and we're going to be selling to celebrate the fact that gardening can give us a sense of achievement. Some of our members of our gardening sessions have also kindly cooked some curries with the produce from their garden. theatre activist. I think a lot of theatre happens in the garden. You are the director, you are the actor, you are the viewer yourself. There are heroes like butterflies, bees that help you pollinate and there are uh, villains like slugs and snails that come fighting against you and you have to win the battle. So a lot of tension and rising action, falling action. Uh, it's the best film, honestly. During summer, I don't watch TV. I just watch my garden and it keeps me entertained. <laughs> We've got Bee Cat in the corner, we've got Rachel, Birmingham Centre of Arts Therapy. She's going to help art cycle and get the kids involved. She'll be making some wind chimes, plant pots as well. The best thing is, is all the stuff that you can recycle and upcycle into something amazing. So have a go. The whole point is about recycling, it's about the environment and learning and teaching our young children about what is so important about our planet. We are in a process to extending our arts and creative activities. We have noticed our community people, they, they really love gardening. We felt like it would be good if we can combine the arts with gardening. Today's event basically to sharing the harvest and sharing the good feelings. And I can see the lots of positivity here. People are inspiring each other, celebrating as well. Nice to see that. It's a new learning for young people as well, which was really good. We are enjoying it. I've supported Burban. I've seen a lot of good work that they do in the community. And when we support funding projects, this is exactly what we want to see in the community. We want to see the children, we want to see the elderly, we want to see females, we want to see engagement across the whole community. A lot has been happening here and they've got my full support. So thank you so much for inviting me and please do continue doing the good work. Some people might think, oh, I don't have a garden, I don't have a big garden. If you don't have a garden, have just a balcony. Even if you have just a window through which some sunlight comes, you can put a few pots there, chilies, tomatoes, and it will help you to feel better. I mean, just looking at uh, green stuff a few minutes a day can keep your anxiety level low. Trust me, it's very rewarding. I don't have a garden, by the way. I'm a gardener without a garden. I have a small paved backyard where I do vertical gardening and I don't grow anything uh, that you can buy from the shops here. I've got guavas growing in my garden. I have sukai pata, laisha and lots more, some very rare seeds there.
during the winter months it's quite difficult to get out. However, setting up your garden for the next uh, season is quite important. It gets you active, physically active, mentally health um, active as well. And today's event is actually to celebrate people's achievements, people's pr uh, produce and eat basically. So that's what we're doing here today. For most people, in winter, gardening comes to zero. There are some evergreen plants uh, that can still look green in your garden. Lemon plants can survive uh, low temperatures if you have a greenhouse in the garden or you, if you have a conservatory. I have some exotic vegetables that survive in the winter, like large leaf mustard. They're small in winter, but still edible. Garlics and onions survive winter really well. Assalamu alaikum. There are many benefits that come with gardening, as according to my parents, gardening helps them reduce stress and combat high blood pressure, as well as improving overall physical fitness. Many people really enjoy being gardeners because of the flexible hours, the ability to work outside with nature, and the knowledge that they are helping plants and flowers grow and thrive. It gives you the time to tone your day down and focus on yourself and your well-being, especially considering that nature won't be able to judge you for anything. Watching your vegetables and crops grow in the end can be really satisfying as you are the reason that this plant ended up surviving that fall with much commitment and love. Suffering from COVID-19, I was at home and thinking about what shall we do now. Murat came to my house, then he said there is not any restriction for plantation, so you can start. Then I started this job, a lot of vegetable fruits we have eaten and still I am very much fond of the gardening. My wife also helped me as well. This is my life and we are enjoying very much. This event is to highlight how important gardening is for mental health. I recently had two very big bereavements in my family and gardening has helped me with my mental health. Gives you an escape from uh, everyday stresses and I feel that it's helped me with my bereavement. When I wake up in the morning, the first thing on my mind is how are my plants doing and, and it makes me feel so much better just to look at them. I'm a brain hemorrhage survivor. It was a bad one. I survived and I was recovering with a lot of difficulties, most of which was emotional and mental because I was still reliving the trauma. Life didn't seem worth living. That's when COVID came and made it much, much more difficult. While the hospitals treated me physically, my mental health, which uh, had suffered immensely, became a lot, lot better through gardening. I totally invested myself into gardening. I found my comfort, my solace. I have had therapy, but trust me, gardening helped me much, much more. Nature is where we get our resources from. I understand uh, gardening and gardening understands me. It's not even a passion, it's much more than that. Gardening is my life. I do gardening and then do anything else. Keep gardening, uh, you can't do anything better. <laughs> <laughs>